Good morning. I thought I'd show you the little sleep. Well, they were sleeping and they all woke up to get their picture taken. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, that's enough of them. It's really amazing. Here we just get six little chicks when we were really had our place in the country we'd get 25 to 50 at a time. So life changes. Anyway, this morning I'm on my way out because I want to make some Queen of Hungary water. And so we're going to go out and pick some rosemary and some other things to go in it. And Queen of Hungary water, supposedly, I don't know why they call it water, it's infused in vinegar now, but originally it was in wine. Oh, you know what? I forgot my little clippers. I had everything out here, and neighbor son came along, and I took everything back. We're going to start over. It was first made in about 1745 by the Queen, and uh, it was supposedly the first patented and sold uh, medicine or tonic, and uh, they used it, actually they used it like perfume, they used it in your bath, they used it for your skin, they used it internally, and it was infused in wine, and we now make it in vinegar. Uh, the gypsies have a long history of using it, and I have made it before, and an another thing about rosemary, they have done now at least 500 scientific studies about the properties and the uh, constituents of rosemary and what it does. And it is a tremendous little herb or spice and we should be using more of it. And in the next few days I'll be telling you more about rosemary. But on to pick, I, I want to pick several fresh ingre ingredients. I wish I had them all fresh, but I don't. But what I have fresh, I'll start with and make my uh, Queen of Hungary water. Okay, the next thing I'm going to get is lemon balm. And I'll tell you, uh, there's several recipes. Some have one thing and some have another. But I'll tell you what, what the ingredients are. there. They usually, well of course, have rosemary. They have roses. I have some picked in the house waiting. Uh, chamomile, calendula, comfrey, lemon peel, lemon balm, uh, rosemary of course, and sage and mint. Okay, in mine, I'm going to do fresh lemon balm, fresh roses. My chamomile will have to be dried and the calendula because I have none blom blossoming right now. I do have comfrey. I do have my lemon balm. I've got lemon peel. And of course I just picked my uh, rosemary. And I think I'll put dry sage in mine. The, the old legend is why, why be sick if you have sage? So. Um, I've already picked some of the lemon balm, actually, but I'm going to pick a little bit more. And because this is the second, we cut it down, this is the second time coming up, sort of like my lavender re-blossoming. And then my comfort is, is over here. Whenever you use comfrey, like you're going to make some oil 
or anything, dry it down first because comfrey has a lot of moisture in the leaves and you don't want whatever you're making to mold. So I plan to put that a little bit in the dehydrator before I use it. Actually, I think I have some already dehydrated in the house. Uh, then, when it was made, the story is supposedly, I'm gonna come around, that the queen made it she used it as a beauty, a beauty potion. She put it on her face, uh, and she used it. And it supposedly, it made her so much younger that some, uh, I'm gonna move that just a little bit. Oh, maybe I'm not. Some duke, I'm gonna move that just a wee bit more okay I don't want to get claustrophobic here eh. <laughs> I'll get it right eventually anyway the Duke of somebody proposed marriage to her she was 70 and he was he was younger and I think a lot poorer and so that's the story on that. Also, I'll tell you a little story about how Rosemary was supposedly got its name. It was when Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus were fleeing for safety to get away from King Herod. Uh, they were going into Egypt and on the trip, Ro uh, Mary got tired and threw her robe her blue robe over onto a rosemary that was blooming white. When they got ready to leave, she picked up her robe and the blossoms had turned blue like her robe. And it was the robe of Mary that did it. And then it was the rosemary, the rose of Mary, and then it was just rosemary. So <laughs> that's one of the stories. But on the Queen of Hungry Water. It was used a lot by the gypsies. There's a lot of history with it, with gypsies. And I want to tell you, I am think I am quite privileged because when I was a little girl, I got to watch the gypsies go by in their horse-drawn caravans, and I can still remember. And for days afterwards, I would just dream of being a gypsy. And, and their um, wagons would have their kettles tied to the side. They were colorful, painted, uh, probably gaudy, I don't know, but I liked it. And I can remember running down to the end of our driveway and watching, but I can also, one day at school, I think I was in the fourth grade, and they came by and the teacher led us all the classroom. We went out to watch him go by. And I think she knew that that was an event and that was special and we'd not be seeing it again, which I can't remember seeing it after that actually. But for days <laughs> or nights, I dream about being a gypsy, you know, with the long flowing blouses and the bracelets that dangled and and uh, the long skirts, yeah, <laughs> and then just traveling. And of course, <laughs> I grew up, but <laughs> maybe that's why we moved a lot. You know, we've moved about 15 or 16 times <laughs> in big circles because this is almost where I was born now. We wound back up. We lived in Moscow, Idaho twice. We lived in Council, Idaho twice. Uh, we've lived in Oregon and, and we've just been moving in big circles, I guess. Uh, when the tent got dirty, <laughs> we'd move. <laughs> but okay, I'm off to make this and uh, 
I'll let you go and I'll, you'll see me make the water and different things because I want to talk more about rosemary and what a wonderful herb it is and spice. So I'll be telling you more about it. So have a good day and dream fun things.